So very good afternoon to all the students to be present there. Hope you are all fine at your places. So today uh, we will continue the protection, power system protection, and in my uh -huh. hello, yeah. In my previous lectures, we were discussed about some introductory part of protection devices. That what do you mean by uh, switch gear and protection? Uh, how we can achieve this switch gear and protection? What are the various uh, equipments that are used in generating station, grid station, as well as substation, uh, in which the protection required, and uh, what are the various protecting devices? Now you can see in my first lecture, second lecture, and third lecture that. There are various type of uh, devices are used in our power system. Somehow we have generators, somehow we have transformers, and uh, somehow we have capacitor banks and all that. So all these devices we have to be protect against the faults. And uh, when the fault will occur in the system, the magnitude of the fault, the time of the fault, uh, and the duration of the fault doesn't know that at what time the fault will occur in the system, how much long the fault remain in the system, and what is the magnitude of the fault occur in the system. These are the three main things that we should never know. And one thing that we always know that there is always and always fault occur in the system. And if you not protect our system against these fault, what will happen? Uh, your system will get affected and uh, all the equipments, all the auxiliary items, all the uh, periphery items that are attached with this power system, they are also get affected. So uh, there is one and one important point that you should be kept in mind that whenever the fault will occur, your uh, healthy system is get isolated from the faulty system as soon as is possible. Because if there is a time delay to isolate your healthy system with the faulty system, what will happen? Uh, it will affect the whole of the system. It is something like, as we are listening to this for the past one or two years, we are listening to this that a pandemic has happened worldwide that is called as a COVID. Uh, your fault is just like this COVID. I, I, am, I am relating our faults in the power system is just like COVID. Because you never know that uh, uh, what, what person or which person is get got COVID infected. But once a person is got COVID negative, sorry, COVID infected, what we have to do? We are just, uh, you can say that isolate that person from the other's person so that the other person is not get affected with the help of this coronavirus pandemic. So just like जिस तरीके से कोरोना वायरस में बट हम हम लोग क्या करते हैं कि जो भी एक पर्सन जो है वो कोविड इंफेक्टेड होता है तो हम लोग क्या करते हैं जैसे वो कोविड इंफेक्टेड होता है तो द मूवमेंट वी रियलाइज वी एनालाइज वी टेस्टेड दैट दिस पर्सन इज अ कोविड पॉजिटिव द मूवमेंट वी नो वी आर आइसोलेटिंग दैट पर्सन सो दैट इट विल नॉट इफेक्ट अदर पर्सन सो इन द सेम केस व्हेनएवर देयर इज अ फॉल्ट अकर इन द सिस्टम वी आर ट्राइंग टू आइसोलेट आवर हेल्दी सिस्टम to the faulty system so that your system will get protected okay so uh, like if in order to avoid this corona virus pandemic what we have to do we are using hand sanitizers we are using your mask and we are using the social distancing so these are basically you can say that the protecting devices by the virtue of which you uh, get protected from the infection caused by this covid in the same case there are certain protection devices used in the power system with the help of which you can uh, protect our system against the fault. Like we have relays, like we have circuit breakers, like we have isolators and many more. And in, uh, in my coming lectures, when we start the particular type of protection device, like in the coming lectures, we will start circuit breaker. So you should know what do you mean by circuit breaker? How this circuit breaker operates? What are the different types of circuit breaker? How the testing of the circuit breaker will be done? And all that. So we will discuss in detail uh, a particular type of protection devices. Okay. Now, in my previous lecture or previous video, we had seen that in how a fault will occur in case of a generator. When the fault occur in case of a generator, the fault is mainly due to the stator winding or due to the rotor winding. So when a stator winding get damaged, the, uh, the fault is called as your stator winding fault and then the rotor winding get damaged in the generator, the fault is called as a rotor, wind, uh, rotor winding fault. So how you can protect our uh, generator with the stator winding fault and how to protect our generator with rotor winding fault. 
Uh, we are basically using the differential relays. We are using basically another types of relay. So by the help of these relays, you can uh, protect the generator against uh, uh, rotor winding loss as well as the stator winding fault. In the similar way, in last lecture, you were also discussed about the transformer. Now you can see that in case of transformer, in case of transformer, there are uh, various types of uh, you can say that losses will occur. So accordingly, you can see that in case of transformer, uh, your winding will get damaged. So when the windings will get damaged, so what will happen? Uh, your uh, transformer gets damaged. So you have to protect the transformer against these uh, uh, windings and all that. So in that case, we are also using certain type of relays, like in case of transformer, we are basically use buckles relay. We are basically use the differential protection relay. We are using more types of relay. Now, what do you mean by these relays? How these relays will operate? What is buckles relay? What is differential relay? That we will cover when we discuss about the uh, relay sector. Now, coming to the part, the number three, that is a called as a transmission line. As you know, that uh, in any of the power system, generating part is the main component who will be responsible to generate electricity at a particular voltage level. But in order to transmit this power from one point, that is from generating point to the grid point, what we have to do, we have to step up the power. So when we uh, step up the power, uh, what will happen when we step up the power, the po uh, step up the power, we are using a transformer. So when you have to transfer the power from the generating station to the grid station or to the substation, we are basically use the transmission line. And you all know in, in, in through the India, we are using basically an overhead transmission line. There are two types of transmissions occur in power system. One is called as overhead transmission line and another is called as underground transmission line. Uh, the underground transmission line has certain advantages as well as certain disadvantages, whereas overhead transmission line has own its advantages as well as disadvantages. So in power system, you are discussed about that. What do you mean by this underground transmission lines, transmission cables, how the underground transmission of the power will be carried out. And also in the power system, we were discussed about overhead transmission system and what are the various components or the equipments required in overhead transmission system. Okay. So, um, but, but most of, most of the cases in India, we are basically using the overhead transmission line. So when you use an overhead transmission line, the main equipment uh, that will be responsible to transfer the power from generating to grid, grid to sub is basically the conductor. And the conductor here we can use is AC SR conductor having different configurations that depending upon what is the voltage level, what is the power level, what is the current handling capacity, you can transfer from generating to the grid. So uh, this, uh, depending upon the voltage, depending upon the power, depending upon the current, we are uh, rightly chooses the conductor and uh, these conductors are available at a different rating and all these conductors are basically the ACSR conductor, like it's a full form is aluminium core steel reinforced conductor. Okay, so these type of conductors are available uh, for us in the power system to transfer the power from one point to the another point that is from, from generating point to the grid point and after that from grid point to the substation point. But these are conductors that uh, you require certain support and for that support, uh, what we have to do, we have as generally a towers or a structures. Now, like you can see, a transmission line can vary in the length from several hundred feet to several hundred miles and in the voltage ranging from 460, sorry, 46 kV to 750 kV. Construction is simple. So like you can see, these are the structures where we can use for transmission system, like number one, you number two, number three, number four, number five. So depending upon the voltage level, what type of voltage level you have to transfer the power from one point to the another point, Accordingly, we are using a structure and these structures are basically called as your uh, towers. In some cases, we are using cement concrete towers. In some cases, we are using wooden, wooden poles. In some cases, we are basically use a steel structure. So the wooden pole, the concrete pole, the cement structure, the steel structure, it's all depend upon what is the rating? What is the level of the voltage? What is the level of the power you have to transfer from the generating to the grid and from grid to the uh, substation? Normally, you can see that in the distribution part, 
uh, where you have to power get distributed like in our household localities in our nearby household localities we are generally use the concrete poles because at that time the voltage level is not very very high the voltage level is around for 33 kv or a 66 kv but if you go uh, nearby to the generating station at that point the voltage is very very high that is around 120 kv 132 kv 440 kv so at that time a very big sized conductors are used to transfer the power so when we have a very big sized conductors so that conductors are hanging on a cement or a concrete pole is not possible so for that thing what we have to use we have to use the steel structure and uh, there are different types of steel structure towers are there we have z type we have zebra type we have h type so that depends upon the design point of view that how the power can be transmitted what is the actual size of the conductor and all that thing. okay so that we will not discuss in this switch gear and production devices that we will discuss in the power system at all okay so uh, these are the different type of structures that we can use in our transmission line these are the pictorial representations you can see that the transmission line protection <clears throat> these are the structures we can use like these are all the steel types the wooden types the concrete types so yahan se hum log kya karte hain apni power ko transfer karte hain okay okay now uh, what will go harm what will get wrong so that you have to protect the system so in uh, you can say that in the colder regions if you go to the lay to the kargil to the dras sector so there is a lot of lot of ice so you can say that if you go to the peel panjal range uh, the the peel panjal range is i think it will be covered with the snow of almost 8 to 9 months through the air so there is a lot of lot of snow that will occur in the structure and ultimately with the deposition of the snow on the structure the weight is also get into the picture so that certain time there is a failure in the structure and the structure get distorted so when the structure get distorted all the conductors which are which are uh, you can say that uh, put it on this structure it is also get damaged so uh, for that thing there are certain losses occur for example uh, some faults occur while falling a tree while falling a lightning uh, animal birds will need weather condition natural disaster like earthquakes and floods Uh, faculty sorry faulty equipment which is isolator clamp so due to that thing what will happen your structure will get damaged and you have to protect our system against these faults because if your structure will get damaged the whole of the power supply will get damaged the whole of the power supply will be get shut down because in electrical there is no media of wireless transmission in electrical there is a media that is a called as a wire with transmission like if you seen communication signal you are using a mobile phones now from mobile phones there is a there is a term called as the wireless communication like uh, like uh, up now now i will interact with you people through this zoom software so there is no line connected between you people and me people it is only the communication with the help of certain rays or you can say that is a wireless communication but if you have to travel the power from one point to the another point from generating point to the grid point from grid point to the substation point from substation point to your load household locality you are required a wires so If, we, if if for example if there is a fault occur in the system if there is a fault occur on the structure and this structure is basically the bounded the uh, conductors so these structure will get damaged the conductors will get damaged so ultimately your power will be shut down so when this power will be shut down your power system get failure so you have to protect over structure against this fault like you can see uh, this type of structures you can see these are all the pictorial representations okay so in addition to that thing there are certain uh, more faults occur in the system and these type of faults are basically called as single line to ground fault line to line fault line to line to line fault line to line to line to ground fault so mainly in power system uh, if you talk about the transmission lines that transmission lines is maybe between generating station to grid station that transmission line may be between the grid station to the substation that transmission line may be between the substation to a household locality so there are basically the four types of fault occur frequently in the system and these four type of fault are what are, what type of these are fault these types of faults are basically called as simple line to ground fault this is commonly known as lg fault l l means line g means ground lg fault number 2 will be line to line fault 
that is LL fault. Number three will be double LG fault, that is line to line to ground fault. Next will be triple L fault, that is line to line to line fault. And last will be line to line to line G fault. So what will happen? You all know in between the two towers or in between the two poles, there are basically the three main lines. The number one will be the R phase. Number two will be the Y phase. Number three will be the P phase. In addition to that thing, we have one more wire that is called as a neutral wire. But mind it, the neutral wire is used in distribution purpose only. But in the transmission system only, we are using the three wires. That is R, Y, and B. In all the three phases, your voltage will flow, your power will flow. So what do you mean by this LG fault? What do you mean by this line to ground fault? For example, your last conductor gets uh, deteriorated and it will be fall on the ground. So what will happen? Your last conductor that is L fault, L line is, is fell down on the ground. So the fault occur is called as LG fault. So aapka ek phase jo hai, wo band ho jayega. Baaki do phases jo hai, wo chalte rahenge. So this type of fault is called as LG fault. Ye generally wahi hota hai, jo aap log normally apne gharo ke bahar dekhte ho ki ek, uh, mada, for example, ek truck wala aya, usne pole ko hit kiya. Pole stand still pe raha, lekin aapki taar toot ke zameen pe gir gai. Jab ek taar toot ke zameen pe giri, that is a called as the LG fault, line to ground fault. Sometime aap dekhte ho ki uh, uh, ek line tooti, aur wo dousri line ke upar aage gir gai. That is a called as LL fault, line to line fault. So, एक normal हाल मतलब एक normal आपकी healthy line चल रही है, एक और normal healthy line चल रही है, but suddenly आपकी एक healthy line break up हुआ, किसी की वजह से भी, और वो दूसरी line के ऊपर आके गिर गया, तो there the fault occurred called as double L fault. In the same case, triple L fault, तीनों दो lineें टूटी और दोनों lineें टूट रहे के बाद वो TC line के ऊपर आके गिर गई, so the system में जो fault occur किया, that is a called as double L uh, sorry triple L fault. And in the same case, एक line टूटी वो दूसरी पे करा के गिरी दूसरी लाइन टूटी तीसरी के ऊपर गिरी और तीसरी लाइन टूटी और वो ग्राउंड पे आके गिर गई सो दैट टाइप ऑफ फॉल्ट इज बेसिकली कॉल्ड एज ट्रिपल एलजी फॉल्ट बट एक चीज का ध्यान रखिएगा मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम मोस्ट ऑफ द फ्रीक्वेंटली टाइम व्हाट टाइप ऑफ फॉल्ट अकर इन द सिस्टम द मोस्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम एलजी फॉल्ट अकर इन द सिस्टम बिकॉज़ ट्रिपल एल फॉल्ट अकर वेरी रियरली ऐसा कभी नहीं होता कि तीनों की तीनों तारें आपकी डैमेज हो जाएं और वो एक दूसरे पे आके गिर जाएं Double LG fault, one line giri, or dusi line ke upar giri, or wo ground ke upar giri. There will be chances, but aisa kabi nahi hai ki tino ki tino line hai tootengi aur wo zameen pe aake gir jayegi. Aisa kabi nahi hota. So maximum time we can see that there are two or three types of fault frequently occur in the system. One is called as line to ground fault, that is LG fault. Another is double L fault, line to line fault. Ek tar tooti wo dusi tar ke upar aake gir gayi, and next will be double LG fault, one line break up, another will be also break up and it will be grounded to the ground. So these type of three faults occur in the system and you can imagine when these out of these three types, any one of the fault occur in the system, your system get faulty. So what will happen? आपको अपने सिस्टम को आइसोलेट करना है. Otherwise क्या होगा कि जो सारे के सारे equipments आपके इस लाइन के साथ लगे हैं, वो सारे के सारे damage होंगे. Now, I will give you one example. Let us take an example. हमारी power generate हो रही है बगलेहार से और वो power हम receive कर रहे हैं जम्मू में. Okay. So, बगलेहार basically कहाँ है? रामबन में और power हम receive कर रहे हैं जम्मू में. So, in between बगलेहार to जम्मू there is a lot of distance. Okay. So, what will happen? आप power को generate कर रहे हो, आप उसको transformer लगा के power को step up कर रहे हो, step up करके आप transmission conductors use कर रहे हो, towers use कर रहे हो और उन towers की वजह से आपकी power जो है वो जम्मू तक receive की जा रही है. सिस्टम चल रहा है, there is a no faulty system अकरे इन द किस्म, वो सिस्टम आपका बड़े अच्छे से रन कर रहा है, clear? There is no fault अकरे इन द सिस्टम। अब आपके जम्मू में जब वो पावर हम रिसीव कर रहे हैं, तो आपके घरों में सारी पावर चल रही है, आप अपने घर में टीवी देख रहे हैं, एयर कंडीशनर लगाया, रेफ्रिजरेटर लगाया, सब कुछ आपका लोड चल रहा है। Suddenly, फॉल्ट का मतलब थोड़ी सी हवा चली एक तार टूटी टूट के जमीन पे गिर गई जैसे ही आपकी एक तार टूटी और जमीन पे गिर गई तो सी यू कैन सी आपका सिस्टम पूरे का पूरा फॉल्टी हो गया अब मैं क्या चाहता हूं कि जहां से तार टूटी और वो जमीन पे गिरी उसके बाद वाला सारे का सारा सिस्टम मेरा प्रोटेक्ट होना चाहिए तो मतलब क्या हुआ जैसे ही तार मेरी जमीन पे आके गिरी अगला सिस्टम मेरा आइसोलेट होना चाहिए और वो सिस्टम आइसोलेट कौन करेगा वो सिस्टम आइसोलेट करेगा आपका प्रोटेक्शन डिवाइस and in this case we are basically using a relay and that relay is basically called as the distance relay 
बिकॉज दैट डिस्टेंस रिले कैन मेजर किस डिस्टेंस पे जाके आपका फॉल्ट हुआ है और ऑटोमेटिकली यूर डिस्टेंस रिले विल एक्टिवेट एंड कमांड टू द सर्किट ब्रेकर सो वट विल हैपन उधमपुर में अगर ये लाइन टूटी है तो उधमपुर का जो सब स्टेशन होगा वो क्या करेगा ऑटोमेटिकली उधमपुर से लेके जम्मू तक पूरे का पूरा सिस्टम क्या कर देगा आइसोलेट कर देगा सो इन दैट केस आपका जो फॉल्टी सिस्टम था वो फॉल्ट हुआ लेकिन आपको जो हेल्थी सिस्टम है उसमें कोई इफेक्ट नहीं पड़ेगा ओके दिस इज हाउ अ फॉल्ट विल अकर इन द सिस्टम एंड हाउ यू कैन प्रोटेक्ट द सिस्टम अगेंस्ट दिस फॉल्टी कंडीशन सो सी दिस टाइप ऑफ यू कैन से दैट वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ relays we can use like over current relay directional relay distance relay pilot relay line current differential relay so these type of different five types of relay we can use in order to protect our system against these faulty condition now wo kaise chalti hain ye sare aapke uske bataya gaya hai sab kuch hai that we will discuss in a while like you can see in this diagram there are two lines line 1 line 2 that is r phase y phase chal raha hai suddenly you can see on the donor side that is l2 our line 2 ground fault occur with the red red line so when this fault will occur you have to protect the system against this fault so for that thing we are basically using the relay okay so uh, see how we can use so see this is all about the how we can use the distance relay and all that okay so you can get an idea that uh, how the fault will occur in the case of transmission line and how we protect our system against this faulty condition now this is you can say that the introductory part or the unit number 1 of your switch care and protection or power system and protection what do you mean by this power system and protection uh, what are the various equipment which we require the protection devices and what are the various protection devices and in my coming lectures we will start one by one protection devices and discuss in details okay now anybody having any doubt he or she can ask me now anybody yes sir clear to all यस सर सर जब लाइन टू लाइन फॉल्ट होता है सर सभी शॉर्ट होता है ये हां जी हां जी बेटा सडनली आपकी 220 वोल्ट सॉरी 132 केवी 66 केवी की लाइन चल रही है और सडनली उस सिस्टम पे अगर आपका फॉल्ट अकर कर जाएगा तो मतलब आपका जो 132 केवी एक अपर वोल्टेज मिल गया और ग्राउंड की वोल्टेज उसको जीरो वोल्टेज मिल गई सो देयर इज अ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस एंड करंट विल स्टार्ट फ्लोइंग इन द सर्किट और आप ये इमेजिन करिए कि आपके घरों में वोल्टेज आ रही होती है 220 वोल्ट और सडनली आपके घरों में एकदम से वोल्टेज आ जाएगी 132 केवी एक एक सौ बत्तीस हजार वोल्ट तो जितने भी आपके इक्विपमेंट्स लगे हुए हैं वो तो सारे के सारे डैमेज हो जाएंगे ना तो इसीलिए हम लोग जब भी ऐसा फॉल्ट अकर करता है सिस्टम पे तो हमारी मेन प्रायोरिटी रहती है कि सिस्टम जो है उसको प्रोटेक्ट कर रहा है और प्रोटेक्शन के लिए वी आर यूजिंग द प्रोटेक्टिंग डिवाइसिस एनीबडी हैविंग एनी डाउट यस प्लीज is it clear to all of you yes sir okay fine so this is all about your first lecture uh, for introductory part and all that now it's the time for the attendance i will share the attendance google form link in the chat box so all are requested to please mark the attendance in the chat box and those who are uh, marking their attendance they can leave now okay is the link is uh, seen to all of you yes sir 